Ray. Okay. I think. I hope everything's working. Let me check one thing. Ah, excellent. That is working. Oops. So, like, break everything. Cool. All right. All set up. So, today, I'm going to be making a few recipes from the Yakuza series. Like the camera's been a little weird, but we'll see. If anyone notices anything, please let me know. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make a few things. Hmm. Um, I will be making the tuna burger and a matcha float. They're both items that you can find in the games um, throughout many of the series. And if you're interested in the recipes that I'm using, that is going to give it to you, so you'll be able to uh, use those recipes. These are both, I think, relatively easy. I was actually originally planning to make um, the buns from scratch for the burger, but I decided I will probably be done <laughs> with a few things a lot quicker than that. So Jeff right now is getting the haircut, and then he's going to pick up buns, so we'll have that eventually. Uh, so we're not, we're not in too much of a rush today. I know the first thing I do have to do, uh, I'll pull up my recipe here. No, okay. Be right there. Um, I do have to let the, the tuna sit for a while in the marinade for at least 30 minutes. Um, and then after that, it cooks real fast. Like it's a super fast recipe. This is probably going to be a pretty short stream, which is fine <laughs> in my book today, because I yesterday's stream went lo longer than I was expecting it to. So yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to think how. The one thing that we'll probably experiment with a little bit is I do have a wasabi mayo recipe in there, but I have another one that I wanted to kind of test that I'm going to use for another recipe soon. So that could actually work out. Um, I think unfortunately the wasabi I have, I say wasabi in quotes because it never is actually wasabi, um, is a little on the weaker side. But I did pick up wasabi powder this weekend, so that is a, uh, a new ingredient that I have in the house and it's going to be used for a recipe this weekend, which I'm very excited for. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to jump into this. I'm always jumping into things. I didn't fill up water. All right, so I'm going to grab, I have two pieces of tuna, two of them, uh, just in the fridge. Earlier this week, I made, I, so I went to Costco and bought like a huge thing of tuna and then I made a bunch of onigiri like for breakfast and then I saved those two pieces for this. I think there's one more thing I need to grab from here. So the nice thing is, yeah, it was just sitting there for a little bit, but it was fine. So actually I'm going to grab a paper towel and kind of dry them a little bit. They were frozen and then they defrosted and all that. Look. And it was perfect because the piece that I got from Costco was like kind of like a. It looked like a piece of meat. <laughs> I got a piece of uh, beef. And it was just, I was able to slice pretty thick slices out of it, which is nice. So I want to save one of these. So we're going to just throw it right back in there to marinade. <laughs> just give it a rinse real quick because it's kind of funky in there. Oop. 
got all that extra stuff off. So, yeah, these are pretty large pieces. I mean, I'm being generous with the uh, the portion size here. It's gonna be a burger, so we want it to be nice and large. Um, let's see. And this <laughs> so this recipe is actually extremely easy. Uh, tuna can be like intimidating, but it's not too bad. And if it's raw, like, you don't have to worry about cooking it all the way through either, because if you do, it's kind of dry and not as good. I'm just going to try and, like, take my time with this one. Because I don't want to rush through it. I, I think, like, the biggest reason with this recipe was Jeff was like, I want tuna burgers. So I was like, okay, I can make it on stream. Easy enough. Uh... <laughs> And when I was like timing things this morning, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, oh no, this is a, uh, this is something that'll be done very quick. Fourth cup of the soy sauce. It's okay, Kanji. Don't worry about it. About a tablespoon of the sesame oil. Easy piece. Half teaspoon. The music just like suddenly stopped. <laughs> oh, what's my computer doing? Hello, computer. Yes. Why did you ask if I was still? They're really easy. They're super duper easy. Um, I like them too. Like, I don't do them enough because I'm like, uh, tuna can be a little on the pricier side, but when a recipe's this easy. And now that I have a Costco nearby, and the only size of like tuna you could buy is ginormous. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess we'll buy a set and I could just freeze it. So yeah, it's technically less ginger powder than the garlic powder. I put about the same. Uh, again, recipes are a suggestion. You could do what you want with it and adjust as you like. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm just making sure to kind of like whisk everything together so it's all mixed up nicely. I'm gonna just put it in a Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna put these in the Ziploc bag. And bam, they're done, they're marinating. It might seem tight in terms of space if, like, sorry, there might not seem as, like there's as much sauce in there. What I like to do is just kinda like, really press it down, get more air out, so we're not too worried about that. And it'll kind of like fill itself. Mm. Let's show it in the other camera. So it kind of actually does like have the sauce kind of fill every crevice and sit in there. If you're worried about it when you have it sitting in the fridge, just have it sitting there for 15 minutes, flip again 15 minutes, and you should be good at that point. Um, I don't think it needs much longer than that, but if you're if you're wanting to, there's mm, no problem with it. Alright, so go ahead and put that in. 
in there. And then I'm gonna... Actually, I am gonna pull up my... We'll goof around with the mayo for a little bit. I had a new recipe that I wanted to play with. Because the one for this one is two tablespoons mayo, uh, wasabi, an amount of wasabi, whatever you're comfortable with, a uh, fourth teaspoon rice vinegar, pepper. That's That was it for that. This new one, look at my drive. It's actually for a recipe for judgment. So it works out because we're still in the same world <laughs> at that point. Um, but instead I have Japanese mayo, actual wasabi, wasabi powders for something else. And we could test that to see if maybe we want to add that pepper, and then I wanted to add tonkatsu sauce to that one. I think tonkatsu will work here too. Um, I'll put maybe a little less in there, just to experiment with it. Japanese mayo. Tonkatsu. Sad boy wasabi. I need to buy a different one, because that has no kick. Do I have horseradish? Basically is horseradish. No, I don't have any. I usually do. What could I say? Hey, Hacken. How you doing? Okay, let's see. I said mayo, wasabi, pepper. I'm surprised maybe I'll add rice vinegar into that too. No, we're just gonna experiment with our mayo. I guess I should put a timer on 15 minutes. And then I'll flip it in there. Alright, let's see. Um so that calls the amount I have for this new recipe is a little higher. But it's definitely supposed to be for a dipping sauce, so I'm gonna wanna change it. Well it shouldn't be bad, it should be fine. Where'd my there it is. I'm like, where'd my rice vinegar go? So I'm gonna do half of that. Half cup, fourth fourth cup. Come on. Where are all my things? So, also in the original recipe, it does call for like a regular mayo. Uh, Japanese mayo tends to be a little sweeter, I find, than uh, American mayo. So, use whatever you have. They could easily be swapped back and forth, but it is going to give you a different flavor. So, just something to kind of keep in mind. That's why a lot of times you'll see, I think, I've had Japanese mayo in like pizza before. Um, it was one of the more interesting things I had in Japan. It was a pizza and it had like a Japanese mayo, some like fish eggs and potato, no cheese. Um, it was pretty dang good. <laughs> Ooh, homemade chips. Nice. Right. That's about a full cup. So I'm gonna put that in there. Now here's where we start experimenting with things. Just to see my numbers and if I'm happy with them. Kaji, what you doing? No, you just want your butt on the camera? Is that what it is? This is too early for your dinner. It's not time yet. I'm doing pretty good. Um, had a good day at work. Mostly productive day at work, but that's always nice. Um, it's a little, a little cold this morning, which was 
exciting because I was done with the cold weather. Or I was done with the hot weather. Summer was too long here. I'm trying to think. I'm like scattered brained right now, more so than usual. Right. Just the table says I only want to do a half. Because I thing I worry about with tonkatsu, I love the flavor that it's going to add. It is going to change the color drastically. Um, no, I don't, I don't want to bust open the wasabi powder because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need for the recipe that I'm making. Because uh, in, in judgment, uh, one of the friendships you could make in the game uh, is a lady that wants to eventually open up an izakaya and she ends up giving you a bunch of random foods to try and one of the things she sends to you that's like her first like dish that actually starts turning out pretty good is a uh, wasabi karage and it's not really a thing that I've seen but you end up using powdered wasabi at least like the karage had that little like green tinge to it so I'm curious to see how well that translates. Which is why I bought the wasabi powder. I'm like, eh, the package was kind of small, so I don't want to use it for like experimenting here. I'll just use this sad thing that says, from Japan, authentic, no color and flavoring added. And I'm like, ah, uh, something tells me this is not actual wasabi with the, for the price that I pay. <laughs> The, the lighter color. That's okay. So my fear of the tonkatsu wasn't too necessary. I do want to put a teaspoon, maybe, of the rice vinegar to give that bite from it. this way. Hmm. Oh, now I just smell the rice vinegar. That, that should be fine. Just right this way. Table's clean. Um, I know the wasabi's weaker, so I'm like, might. Oh, kind of. Surprised you're not moving. There's the garage going. That's why. <laughs> Which means that's perfect. That means we could jump into the uh, the matcha floats. Because I didn't want to make those without, like, Jeff here. And be like, well, I have two matcha floats for myself. I'm actually going to put a note. Because I do like what the, the rice vinegar did there. I didn't have that originally in this new recipe. Rice. Again, it almost fell out. Rice vinegar. Oh, now he hears it. You got the buns. Perfect. No, but it's perfect that you're here. Because now I can make the matcha floats. I'm assuming you want a matcha float, right? Okay. I'm trying to figure out if this main camera is like looking laggy or something. Can't figure it out. 
Oh, I feel like my eye. <laughs> so I had a good productive day at work, but I also am like, because we went to bed later from playing Final Fantasy VIII, I think it's like slowly like hitting me. I was like setting up everything here, and then I'm like, hi. Try this. So it's not, I'm testing, I'm using this opportunity to test a mayo for the judgment recipe that I'm making this weekend. So this is going to go with that. So imagine dipping the karaga in there. That's what I was thinking. It has wasabi in it too, yeah. Because this wasabi's weak. Yeah, it's the saddest. No, no, no. This is no. I, I specifically am not using the uh, the powdered one because I don't want to waste any. All right. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I'm gonna grab everything for the matcha close. That one's gonna happen quick. All this is gonna be quick. We're gonna be wham bam and I'm gonna be like, well that's it, y'all. Did a quick stream. We're fine. Jeff got a haircut today. Jeff had a busy day. He got a haircut. He g he went and gave blood today. Uh, karaoke or not karaoke? The disco dancing. <laughs> Akanji always hates it. Easy piece. You know what? Nah, sesame oil in, in that sauce would, uh, I think, overpower it. <laughs> I'm like thinking out loud to myself right now. There's a lot of like, hmm, what to do? So, the matcha recipe is relatively simple. I'm gonna double this. I'm gonna just do it all in one go. The nice thing I did, so this recipe, um, it's very simple. You need matchas, a little bit of hot water, ice, and then milk and some sweeteners in there, like sugar and vanilla extract to add extra flavor. Also vanilla ice cream, but today I, I have almond milk and I have a vegan ice cream because it's like you know what I'm gonna keep it on dairy today <laughs> I've had a lot of cheese this week um, so I have this much which one is this Sayaka no Mikashi it's from Ipoto tea that's where I get a lot of my green teas uh, they make me happy <laughs> uh, I have not I've had other ones, and this is the one that I've been the happiest with, brand-wise. Hello, Word. Hello, Word. How are you today? What am I looking for? Two, three teaspoons is a tablespoon. Math. What are you gonna be cooking yourself? What you what you got in the docket? Oh, 
Also, Ward, I really I liked your idea that you had the the sub badges being like a, a cooking process. I've been like toying with that in my head a bunch this week. Ooh. That sounds delicious. So you don't have to use one of these crazy, this is a like matcha whisk. Uh, if you have a regular whisk, you could use that too. I just got one when I was in Japan. So it works. I have hot water off screen. So I'm gonna go ahead. The recipe doesn't say a temperature, but you wanna make sure you follow the directions of the matcha, don't over put it under hotter water than it can accept. Typically 175 is the temperature that it's fine with, but each matcha is different. So make sure to follow them rules. So I just wanna make sure that this is smooth. So we don't want clumps of matcha going into it. It is gonna go into the blender eventually, so we have we have several layers of whisking happening here. So that was gonna go off. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my marinating tuna. And I'll let that go for another 15 minutes. Super easy. You don't even have to do the flipping part. You would even just leave it there. I do think this recipe that I have, the, the big old tuna burgers, are a little fancier looking than the in-game images. Even, I think when I made this, it was what Yakuza 4. And like the image is really difficult to see what the heck was going on. But I definitely took some inspiration on my burger recipe with a tuna recipe that I think Hop Daddy, their tuna burger used to be, but they've changed it recently. So I'm at least happy I kind of know this. I should have bought it. Jeff, that's what we should have gotten. Wasabi peas. Miras, how are you? Right. This is extra, extra dark matcha y goodness. Have you been making any more interesting recipes? Yeah, no, nothing. Tap, 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 Oh, good. This kind of... I like to wash this right away because I actually did have one of these before this one where I don't know what happened, but somehow it dried and then a bunch of mold, like, <laughs> it was the most confusing thing we had happen. Now I have a little sand to protect it and everything. Oh no. Oh no. All right. So I have my matcha ready. It's mixy mixed in it anyway. Ooh. Wait, oh, that's my judgment recipe. <laughs> Let's see, so place the matcha powder in a bowl. Add the hot water and stir well. Place the matcha water. Ice, 
No. Basically everything but the ice cream. So I'm going to go ahead and wait on the ice. So it is going to get... It's going to be loud soon. Um, vanilla. Sugar. Actually, I'm like... We're just in we're just in experimenting mode today. And now we're just gonna we're gonna behave and follow him. The beauty zone. Like wait a second. <laughs> now I wanna put Right, I'm doubling all this. Doubling it all. <laughs> Thank you, please. You said we get no calcium. There's calcium in this. Forty-five percent of your calcium. I have to like be careful with myself when I'm like doubling recipes because I boot the recipes up sometimes that way. Happen on stream too. But we find a way. I'm sure YouTube's gonna yell at me at some point again and be like, are you still listening? Yes, YouTube. Of course, we're doing that same amount. So. Go. Got our sugar. That's in there. And then how much? Teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Ooh. Big tip for anyone who's like likes baking and stuff. Start checking your local Costco's again, because I went to mine and they had vanilla beans. And those are way cheaper than you're going to find vanilla beans in a lot of places. They are about $3 a bean. Uh, so that's my pro tip. Go there. Go buy your vanilla beans. <laughs> Do like I did and stock up. Because the biggest tip that I could give you right now is if you like vanilla beans, those are going to be going... The price is probably going to be going up because Madagascar got hit by that storm last year and it takes about five years for them to grow. <gasps> RPG, how are you? It's been a while. Uh, quickly, get this with just a little light twirls. Is it new? I don't know when the last time you were here was. Kind of reset things up. There are. Whoops. <laughs> I need that to be open so I can see chat. I'm so sorry. Uh, if I do... No. Main camera. I do have a stove cam. Oh no. I missed something. Oh, well, it's the same camera. I guess I'm, I'm figuring out, like, the settings slowly. So, that's always a thing. And I don't have the sun above me, so that works out too. I have not meet us. I'm gonna add. Add the matcha. Oh. Thick amount of matcha. Ooh, HOA meeting. In the neighborhood we're in isn't really, like, it's still not, the HOA is not community heavy yet because only it, they're still waiting to sell a certain amount of houses and we're like, oh, okay. Oh, neat, where at? Mm. 
Velvet Reindeer's Magic. This got a little sticky. Oh, neat, neat, neat. Sorry if that's loud, I just realized. Alright, so I have all that mixed. Golden oats. Let me make sure, like, everything's balanced, because I might have put more matcha than I intended. No, it's delicious. <laughs> now we're going to get the ice. I'm also going to grab the ice cream. Oh. I think with the original recipe, I did, when I made this, I did make the ice cream, the vanilla ice cream, and my ice cream maker's been broken for over a year, so I haven't replaced it yet. Eventually. Oh. Maybe you'll get a piece of ice, Kanji. Maybe. We'll see. May that ice cream maker rest in pieces. It got abused. Hmm. How old is the Dems Fighting Herds game? When did it come out? Oh god. Yes, I love food pictures, so please do. Gee, that's that sounds fancy. Just put in an amount of ice. Just one cup. Okay, enough, let's see. Okay. It's a, a pretty recent one. I'm gonna actually mute my mic for a moment. for my ears even. <laughs> No. So, if you're ever looking for a um, non-dairy ice cream brand, I do highly recommend this one. They get I have seen it in other places. Not a moo. Um, they use coconut milk uh, instead of like regular milk, and I found it to be like the least. Awkward tasting, like it actually works. I was rescued. Their stuff works really well. I've had their vanilla one. They have a Rocky Road one. They have a bunch of flavors. Like I, I highly like recommend them. Vanilla. Alright, how do I do? This? Okay, I'm gonna pour this in. I think Kanji said. I did not give him a single ice cube. Kanji, there were still ice cubes left. I could have shared. The only problem with this is, Jeff, I'm probably not going to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> this is a sacrifice that must be made. And so. 
Ice cream. Also, this morning, because, okay, we, we were playing Final Fantasy VIII yesterday, and we made rules for ourselves. Every time we get one of the, or they're just called summons, right, in the game? When we get a summon, or excuse me, a GF, um, you could rename them. And so the rule I, I said was, it has to be, we have to use their starting letter, and then they're named after a food. So when we got to Ifrit, <laughs> it was like, one, I thought there was a timer still going on, and I named them Ice Cream, because that is the only I word, <laughs> I food that I could come up with. The good news is that was the best option. <laughs> now I have a, a fire boy that uh, is named Ice Cream, so it's perfect. Oh, no. That sounds real nice and easy. Jeff, if you'd like one. We're having dessert before we have our dinner. Actually, I'm going to be starting dinner up soon. Oh, so that pooch is going to be angry at us. Still have ten minutes. You're welcome. Enjoy. Oh, that is that is a good point. I know one of the things we actually like getting kanji. There are these. Do I have any? I think we might be out. Yeah, I don't have any. There are these little like cups of like peanut butter and. Uh, banana like nice frozen things and it they're pretty good <laughs> but it makes sense there always is that moment like with a lot of rpgs where they're like oh look at this terrible drawing <laughs> but it, it's it gets the point across I don't want a little babby spoon. Because I'm going to lose the little babby spoon. Hell yes. Dessert before dinner. Mmm. Plum and socket. Yes. I just abused mine is the issue. Like, I had an ice cream maker. Like, there were lots of ice cream recipes on the website. But now you can see they kind of vanished. <laughs> what was I making? <laughs> no one's stopping me. I can't save myself from myself. Um, I forget what it was. It was. It might have been something from Builders 2. It might have been Yakuza even, because there's a lot of ice cream in Yakuza. Um, but I did it, and I kept churning and churning, and it wasn't solidifying. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. And then I tried making my vanilla recipe, which I had done several times I'm like you're not so I think what happened what we think happened was when we moved the bowl on the outside or some when it was in the freezer or something cracked so it lost some of the liquid so it wasn't freezing as like evenly or well and I was like oh man all right we have the mayo we will probably toast up our buns because we can because we're adults I need to grab, I'm going to get sesame seeds, both white and black, and then we're going to top and bottom of the, the tuna, we're just going to coat them. I mean, the biggest, uh, the biggest thing with the ice cream maker is I want to buy one. And I probably should watch around Black Friday again. Because I had the KitchenAid attachment. And it was real nice. Um, I've just been like, well, 
I'll do other things for now. Because <laughs> I did... I think it's... Look, there is an ice cream. Yeah, there's an ice cream in the Fallout cookbook. Um, so I'd say within the last year and a half this has happened. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. G have fun with your HOA meeting. Hopefully it goes smoothly. And thanks for stopping by. All right. So we got... So, that's YouTube going, Are you still watching your videos? Is there a way to turn that off? Yeah, the Nuka float. That's what I thought. It's like I thought I did one. And yeah, that did have an ice cream recipe in it. Please, sesame seeds, please come out of the container that you're in. Yeah, that should in theory be enough. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the tuna that has been behaving itself so well. It's super easy. If you like matcha, it's like a great thing to make. Um, good luck with your uh, sesame chicken. And of course, thank you for stopping by, Word. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, I want the stove can't. Well, not yet. Not yet. Kanji's not even in there. And it's dope. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take these out. I believe. When you're ready to cook, remove. And we want to pat dry. Because they're going to be extra, extra wet. And we don't need them being too crazy. Grab another plate. Just grab a million plates today. I don't know if I know what this, the secret of Star Soul is. Okay, I need to wash my hands a little. My entire kitchen's green. Oh, yeah, we could talk about that. I mean, I don't typically do books. Um... I do know a few, there are a, lot, a few other bloggers that do like specifically books, foods, and stuff. Alright, so. We're gonna take one of these pieces and go, well, bam. And just kind of smoosh it in. I'm gonna need a lot more sesame seeds. I think there was a time, yeah, I was in Florida, um, and there was a place that had, like, shark. I've never had shark, and I thought about it, and then I was, like, reading, and I'm like, I don't know if shark is good for you. Because <laughs> it sounds like there's a lot of gunk, kind of, like, in the meat of, of shark. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> maybe I won't. <laughs> if I did not, oh my god, look, the ice cream's kind of freezing over. It's true. Um, I do think the french fries being shaped like shark tickets is pretty neat. Yeah, hell of it, hell of it could work. That's right. I turned that on. Then we're going to repeat with this one. Just going to kind of pat, pat, pat. Ah, yes. The soothing voice of 
Yakuza 6 was wild, man. <laughs> the whole, like, well, you gotta protect this child. Up, oh, time to fight a group of thugs. Put the child down. Fight group of thugs. Alright, so this is short. Two, four minutes per side. Now I'm like, oh shoot, should have prepped a little more. Probably. The answer to that question is most likely. I'm actually gonna turn the heat off on there. I'm gonna prep my the buns beforehand. So I'm gonna grab two buns. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butter them up. Put a little bit of garlic powder on them, pop them in the under the broiler, and then bam, toasty buns. I hope it doesn't stay sad. Ooh. Does it? Looks I think it's a, a, a variety of themes that can work well together. Like, are these buttons? These buns are huge. It's like my head. See? Toasty buns. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. But, like,. I'm so angry at Streamlabs right now. <laughs> it did not, it does not say that Harry subscribed. <laughs> he has not eaten yet. <laughs> Whatever Streamlabs did with their latest update is uh, making me angry. <laughs> I'm uh, so angry. <laughs> Thank you, Harry. Harry is repeat. Harry is a good, a good friend of mine. Harry, I got a large matcha float. Could all share it. So much matcha. Now I hope the next song that plays is the Judgment one. The um, is it called? Is that the karaoke song, Judgment from Zero? Uh -uh, just make it play it. Yes. The most ridiculous karaoke song in that game. <laughs> they all end up in like that metal band. Zero. <laughs> Butter. Might have to melt it actually.
Jeff, are you breaking the law? <laughs> For justice, Jeff. a little easier to spread. I hate it right now because so Jeff and I are making our way through Final Fantasy 14. We've also been like sluggishly playing through Judgment. <laughs> sluggishly. <laughs> I think it's the best way to describe the speed we are playing Judgment at. Because one of... Uh, Jeff and I are both similar with this issue. There'll be times where we, we'll go and play a game on the couch, and our couch is comfy. <laughs> Sludgement! Nailed it! Um, couch is goddamn comfy. But there's times where I'll just sit there, and I'm, we're playing a game, and I'm like... So it's a game that has to be played, like, in the afternoon to make sure I'm not, like, I'm not the only one guilty, Jeff, too. Like, I think the other night we were playing, Jeff's like, I just got tired. And I, I know it's the couch. Like, it's just the comfiest couch. So because judge we play judgment on the couch, it's like, oh, we'll, we'll play like a section and it's like, okay, that's, that's good. I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> we keep playing it late at night. All right, so I'm gonna turn the burler on. I'm gonna turn this back on. Fragging business. bit of garlic powder and then we gotta pay attention to this so we make sure that it goes burn. This bread is so soft, Jeff. Well, really soft bread. Just gonna throw that in. So I'm letting this heat up, so I'm actually, I, this camera decided to be the sun today. But we'll make it the main focus, because that's, that's where the action's gonna happen. So let's block it all. So we're just gonna plop it down. We're gonna plop the tunas down. And we're not, we're going to want it to like cook not too far up. So about two to four minutes um, each side. Nothing beyond that. We don't, we don't want to, I mean, if you want to, you can, but I think you sh with tuna, you want to, you want to leave some of it raw. It's delicious. Let the flavors flow with you. Let it cook. Um, that's going. Too bad, please. I need to prep some. What are you doing, Kanji? I gotta get the mail out that we made earlier. Hmm. No. I was like, I have like pickled uh, daikon and carrots in there because I I made uh, some banh mi again <laughs> this week. I'm like, ah, I think that might over. 
power it. I don't have to be complicated with this. Nice, simple. Nice, simple meal. At this point. The ice cream has melted in. So you can already see it's starting to cook up. You see the parts that are cooked in. Um, trying to like figure out what I got here. Oh, are you actually? Your foot is in the camera. That is a pooch that's been fed and is angry. There we go. So that's already done. See, we just toasted the buns, nice and easy. I think doing that, like, doesn't take long. Just put a little butter, put a little, uh, Kanji's angry. A little butter, a little garlic uh, powder, pop it under the broiler, minute, however long it takes to get brown. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually flip these now. Where's the knife I just used? Here it is. This is kind of weird. Oh, real short stream. okay to occasionally have like a stream that's just like well this is what I made that's it I was talking to Jeff about it I was like I started like looking at recipes and I'm like should I should I make something random should I make like I saw this recipe and I might make it next week on stream uh, it was matcha uh, cream cheese cheesecake matcha cheesecake brownies like the swirl brownies and I was like oh no my head was like what can I do with matcha <laughs> yeah I saw that and I was like hmm actually oh, I know what I'm doing next week I think Jeff next week's the weekend you're out right sounds right yeah I was thinking of doing, because I'm going to be home and bored, uh, I was thinking of doing a croissant experiment. Um, and I think it might be a two-day thing, because the, uh, the lamination and the proofing and all that has to happen overnight um, in some recipes. Other recipes are a little quicker. So I'm going to grab a few recipes and maybe do several croissant recipes. <laughs> When Jeff gets back, I'll be like, I made a mistake, Jeff. I ate all 24 croissants that I made. That's me being hopeful. Assuming that there would be 24 completed croissants. Butter or lettuce, please. There we go. Gotta get these a little rinsey rinse. So if any of you in, in chat know of uh, some good croissant recipes, feel free to message me 
and let me know. Because I'm going to goof around with some. I want to do a few recipes, figure out what works best, and then kind of get comfortable to the point where I'm like, okay, this is what I know works. And then have my own recipe. Because it, it... I think since I've started doing the cooking streams, it's been like on my bucket list of things to do. This is beyond good. Right. <laughs> nice and simple. Whoop. So, let me actually take this one off, too. Right on. And then I will show that one. It's gracious. This one. So, you can see uh, that. The edges are, are kissed and cooked, but we're still raw and a little warm. Because, like I said, I think you don't want to overdo the tuna. Um, actually, these fit perfectly on the little on the buns that we have. <laughs> like, and that's everything. <laughs> I made it all! <laughs> oh, I picked, I picked very easy recipes. Perfect buns. Oh. I guess I'll give it a bite. And see if it's still delicious. Because I remember. I actually wonder if I'm going to need more of the, uh, the mayo. <laughs> like, the bread is being real crunchy. <laughs> and I completely missed the tuna in that bite. I'm going to drink. <laughs> it really is. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be whispering. I almost like closed because the camera there is sitting on the drawer. I almost went like. Mm. So I did it. I hope you all enjoyed my tuna burger <laughs> recipe. It's real easy, and I. I I'm happy I had a real easy recipe on for one. I mean, we started the stream an hour and 15 ago. We're we, we managed to make tuna burgers and the matcha lot, uh, the matcha float thing. That was it. It definitely is. I think the biggest entry point is maybe like going out and buying the tuna and feeling comfortable enough with it, but it doesn't take that long. It's a very easy recipe. Um, and I will say, it's a good, I think if you want to start doing fish, tuna's a good one to go with. Um, it's not, it's not too difficult. I think the, the best, <laughs> the way you could mess it up is by cooking it too much, but that's something that as you get used to cooking with it, and depending how thick it is, it'll... You'll be able to figure all that out. Also, Jeff, you might want to come grab yours. Because we did it. <laughs> and I think, I think that's it. <laughs> so short, very short stream. Um, and I'm going to see, let me see who's on. Let's do it just short. I don't have to be streaming forever. You are correct. Uh, let me see who's on. Um, he's actually streaming food stuff. Actually, I'm gonna send y'all over.
to my good friend Lilaboo. Uh, she is currently making some menudo and I guess Chinese barbecue meal prep. I guess she's going to be doing that later this week. Um, so yeah, y'all go send her lots of love. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be on again next week, Tuesday, streaming with my friends some game. We'll see what it is when we decide. Might be Minecraft, might be something else. I don't know. But have a wonderful and delicious evening. So yeah, thank you for watching.